Hi, it's me. I did something stupid the other day. I saw passion fruit for the first time in my life ever, and I bought some. Uh, they were they were two fifty a piece, and that's a lot of money. Cause let me show you what I paid for two fifty. This this was two fifty. It's so small, and it feels really hollow. Don't you think it would be a lot more attractive than this? This looks like a everyday fruit. I would never call this a passion fruit. I cut one earlier and it was tart, and it's full of seeds and it's weird, and we're gonna make a curd, and we're gonna make coconut panna cotta. I made the panna cotta before, everything is vegan, it's gonna be amazing, we're, it's gonna be great. We're, we're gonna love it. All right, so I'm just adding my sugar. Give that a whisk. So once that's homogenous, we're gonna go ahead and start adding all of our liquid ingredients as well. I need two tablespoons of lemon juice and a quarter cup of oat milk or any non-dairy milk. So we're gonna use three passion fruits. I had to cut. Just kind of weird. Ooh, interesting. I believe you just kind of scoop those out. Try not to get any of the white pith in there. Ooh. Good. I'm gonna put this over medium heat and whisk it until it becomes a little bit thicker and then we'll revisit. It obviously got a lot goopier. Um, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vegan butter. A tablespoon? Ooh. And drop it in. I'm hoping this will make it a little bit looser. And yeah, I'm gonna put this into something different and let it cool in like a jar or something. Let's get started on our panna cotta, which is gonna be super simple. Just one can of coconut milk. Let's just give it a little shake. Why am I filming this? A half a teaspoon of Vanilla. If you do have a bean, it's better, it looks prettier, but no worries if you don't. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. This is my favorite brand. I get it from my local Asian store, so that's where it is. Where's my whisk? Huh, huh, whisk, quickly. All right, so I'm gonna put this on medium heat and just let it get a little thick. All you're looking to do is dissolve the agar agar completely. That's all, that's literally it. So I prepared some bowls, as you can see. I just did some spray just so when these do release, they'll release easy. So let's just do like a little boop. Okay, I actually need to refrigerate these for about an hour or until they're firm. It should happen pretty fast once they once they cool, it should happen pretty fast. So into the fridge, it starts. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to show unmolding this. I'm just running a spoon along the edge, convince it to come out. Okay, well that's where it lives now. Is this, this is really goopy. I think we need to thin it out somehow. That was too much. So I would do maybe like a teaspoon I'll probably add the water to it <laughs> rather than what I just did. But that has like a better consistency. So how do you taste this? It's really ugly. Here we go. I think you should just taste it. Yeah, I mean, It's close to a panna cotta. We're never gonna be as creamy as a panna cotta. No, definitely not, but it's because like- Because it's not milk. <laughs> it's a slightly crumbly version of a panna cotta. Passion fruit, I'm learning passion fruit is probably the best fruit flavor it's there It's so isn't. good. The seeds have a fun crunch, they're like- They do. It's like putting dead pop rocks on <laughs> That right there. It's delicious. If you don't get enough of the 
passion fruit. Mm -hmm. It's just like a dead flavor. Yeah, I mean it's a fun, it's a fun texture still, but it's um. I think what has to happen is the panna cotta needs to be smaller, or there needs to be like an entire river of passion fruit. <laughs> Okay, so what do you rate it? I feel like I'm just going eights, but mm. like I, I think the only the only knock I give it, it doesn't stand alone as well. But I think the, but it has a really it has a great texture, I think. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna finish this. That's a terrible sound. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, consider it. Okay, bye! Bye!